This tutorial is on remote or off-campus access. To access the library's resources remotely or from off-campus, you must log into the library system. There are two ways to log in. One way is the downloadable VPN software. The other is the online login page or proxy. You must log in to one of these. Even if you are logged in to the eLearning system, MyUFL, or MyCOP, the off campus login page or proxy has a couple of advantages. There is nothing to download, and you can log in using either your Gator Link username and password or your Gator One card number. It's good when you can't use the VPN, when you're not using your personal computer, such as you're visiting someone on vacation or at a meeting, or you can't download the VPN onto your computer because of a security issue or because it has another VPN on it. The drawbacks to the off-campus login page are that it's not as stable as the VPN, and you can't access everything. Also, you can't use bookmarks, create bookmarks, or type in URLs. You have to follow links. The VPN, or Virtual Private Network, is a downloadable software that's free through the University of Florida. To get help or support with it, you can contact the University of Florida's Computing or Network Services. And they also have a help wiki. You can call them at 352-392-HELP. One advantage to using the VPN is you're not as easily knocked off, and you can bookmark or type in URLs while you're logged in. It also can get to a couple of items that aren't accessible through the proxy. You use your Gator link username and password to log in. To get more information about downloading the VPN, you'll need to check out James Coker's tutorial, which is part of the technology course, or look at the tutorial on the off-campus login page. This is a quick self-assessment. You must click on the correct answer to go on to the next slide. To get to the off-campus access login page, you can either click at the link at the top of our home page, click under services on off-campus access, or at the bottom of our page on off-campus access in the quick links. Once you're on the off-campus access page, you can click on UFVPN service to download or get information about the VPN. There's also a brief tutorial on this page. Once you've downloaded the VPN, you'll still need to log into it when you want to access our resources. You can do this by going to All Programs and clicking on Cisco, and then click on Cisco AnyConnect VPN Client and log in. Or, depending on the version of Windows that you have, an icon should appear in your lower right-hand corner tray. Just click on that link and you'll get a box where you can log into the VPN. Here is a screen capture of the operations guide for the AnyConnect VPN and a link to the site. To log in using the proxy or online login page, you can either type in your Gator Link account information in the top two spaces on the left side of the page, or barcode number from your Gator One card, and your library catalog password in the bottom two. Again, there is a brief tutorial on this page. Once you've logged in, you should get this page. Go to the Health Science Center Library, or you can use the drop-down menu to select one of the pages on our site. When you are connected, you should see lp.hscl.ufl.edu within your address. Read the instructions on this page before you continue.
At the bottom of the page, you'll see a Launch Easy Reconnect. This allows you to reconnect to the Easy Proxy or Proxy without having to completely log in again. Click on this button and it brings up a small window. Minimize the window and then if you get disconnected, you can select the library's website that you want to reconnect to without completely logging in again. It doesn't work if you've closed the main browser window. Here are some online login page or proxy tips. To remain connected, only follow links to web pages. You can use the back button, but use it carefully. You can go back more than one page at a time by clicking the small arrow to the right of the back button or right clicking on the back button. Just make sure you don't go back too far. You will be disconnected if you type in or paste in a web page's address. If you click on your browser's home icon or if you try to link from your favorites. If you get your login attempt was unsuccessful Try it again slowly. You can call the library's information desk to make sure your Gator One card has been activated. The system will lock you out for 10 minutes, so wait 10 minutes after four unsuccessful login attempts. And please, type slowly. Make sure you're typing your password incorrectly. And did your Gator Link password expire? This is a self-assessment. It's a true or false question. Click on the correct answer to continue. This is the last self-assessment question. Click on the correct statement to continue. 